Hello Leos, this is a reading for the 15th until the 21st. As always, thank you for subscribing, liking, and sharing. If you're not a subscriber, tap that subscribe button, hit the bell. I do upload weekly. And if you'd like a personal reading with me, because these are general, I want to really make that clear. Um, that information is in the description box. And to all those that have reached out and also donated to my channel, thank you so much for doing that. And I greatly appreciate all of you. If you'd like to donate, uh, that information is down below. Let's begin. Let's see what this week is bringing out for my Leos. Let's see. We're going to start out with... This card, it says the answers you need are coming. Okay, so leaving it kind of whatever question is going to be different for everybody. So Leo, whatever, and this is a Gemini. So again, don't go in your head. Don't be in your mind. Allow it. So some of you could be in duality in regards to do I stay? Do I go? Do I go in this direction? Do I move in that direction? Calm the mind because right now, look at this. At the bottom, we have the Pisces. So it says balance spirituality and practicality so just bring balance to yourself right now because whatever this reading is about whatever you are asking about the answer is coming be patient let's see what i can bring you hang in there <laughs> and let's see let's start out with the light seers deck let's put a few cards out i will clarify with the muse and i will give you a sacred destiny card and close you out with a fortune reading card let's begin let's see what's going on for my leos okay so this card wants to come out. Leos, you're packing up and you're leaving. Some of you are leaving. Some of you have been carrying uh, too much, too many responsibilities, too much weight. It is the end and of a cycle. So if some of you are asking about completing a cycle and moving onward towards something else, the answer is yes. If some of you are asking about, you know, you're feeling exhausted with all your responsibilities, are you to drop some responsibilities and stop doing everybody else's stuff for them? The answer is yes. So it's going to pertain differently to everybody. Let's grab some more cards and let's see what this is about. If that is in a leaving a marriage or relationship due to a third party, the answer is yes. If some of you are asking if, um, if you're to leave something and then get connected with a new community, with new friends, with new uh, soul family, the answer is yes. Again, it's going to be different for everybody. So you're moving and some of you are moving towards a connection. So let's see, the Three of Cups is a, uh, is a card of celebration. It's a card of coming together with your friends, with loved ones, with like-minded people. So let's see the next card out. Yeah, some of you here, this is talking about really looking at your direction with the Nine of Pentacles. So this is in regards to leaving things that no longer serve you, right? Coming into a whole new system, a whole new place with new friends, new family. There's money falling out of your pocket. The Knights always talk about um, really, it's, it's like it's past the page. So now you're about, it's like a card of travel. It's a card of new lands. This is about really you choosing to go to a new new direction it's a night and the coins are falling out the horse is here so this is all about stability freedom moving into a new direction some of you this is pertaining to work for others of you it is not the bottom of the deck is the seven of swords don't steal from yourself some of you are moving away from anyone who has been shady sneaky and if this has been you you're protecting yourself from these energies so let's see from the light seers deck with the answers that are coming. Let's see what card is coming out and balancing yourself right now. So the first card out is justice. <laughs> like I said, with balance. Yes. So some of you could be dealing with a Libra. Again, it's going to be different. And this isn't so much about what sign are you dealing with, but this isn't bringing justice. This isn't bringing harmony. So some of you could be leaving a marriage. Some of you could be leaving a job. Some of you could be leaving something that has just been out of harmony and you're bringing justice to a situation the universe is bringing justice to a situation that was not serving you so this is saying that it's time for you to make that decision let's see with the ten of wands the card that comes out it came in reverse is the queen of voices so the queen of voices in its upright it talks about really hearing the voices really this is the queen of swords the queen of swords is the bitch of the deck and i love the queen of swords because what she does is she cuts things out she doesn't stain things that are not serving and she's learned to cut out what is no longer hers but 
the thing is, is that when you're leaving something behind, you don't have the full, full truth and full clarity, right? Because the, in this way, she goes for the truth. She's a speaker of truth. She's very honest and she takes leadership and wisdom with herself with this. And as you see all the crows here, so I'm feeling, whoa, and it wanted to turn up, right? Okay, so in its reversal, is blocked energy about truth, but I feel like now you've come into some truth and some clarity here, and this is now saying it's time for you to really listen, listen to, um, listen to, listen to what is being said, cut out what is no longer needed, and here you're looking at justice, so you're really wanting to bring some balance and harmony and justice into your life. Here with the Three of Cups, let's see. Okay, that card immediately wants to come out. We have the Nine of Material. Okay, so this is all about your confidence. This is all about your clarity. This is you becoming single or you really very, being very independent. So this is very independent energy. You could be coming together with a couple other independents and possibly starting something new. But nine of material is the nine of pentacles. And I love the nine of material, why? Because it talks about, you know, again, your own confidence. Where is your confidence right now? How do you feel about yourself? Do you see yourself as an independent? Do you see yourself as somebody who's glowing? Do you see yourself, she's very vibrant within around the no roses here, right? She's incredibly successful, very self-sufficient. She's self-made. She is a self, he, she, it doesn't matter. These are energies. So this is a time where you may be wanting to enjoy your friends, enjoying your own energy at this time and not really spending it in something that has already been completed, whether that's a job, whether that's family, whether that's a relationship, whatever that is, it is something different for everybody. So this really is looking at yourself as incredibly prosperous as you're moving forward. With the Nine of Pentacles, the Fool, yep, you are moving forward into a brand new direction. This is a taking a leap of faith. So the answer is coming. So if some of you are asking to really take on your own independence and not to lack in confidence and really make that decision, come into truth and clarity about the path, the path that's ahead. So if some of you have been in something that has been very burdensome, it is now time it is saying that, remember, these are general. Whatever decision you make, it is your decision. Whichever path you choose, tarot is a guide. As a guide in this reading, it is saying that right now, here, see, so nine of emotions was also with that, along with nine of voices. So this is saying something that has just completed nine of emotions no longer fulfilling it's not your ninth cup where you are where you have been it is asking you to really come out of this place and to bring your head and heart so if this is in reverse is your head and heart not in alignment it is asking you to bring your head and your heart in alignment and see the truth see the truth are you growing where you are are you not are you growing in a relationship in a business are you wanting more independence are you um, needing to make some changes, bring some balance and harmony into your life? It is asking you to take a leap of faith into a new direction. It's the fool. The fool does not need to know the next step. It just goes on to towards the sun. It's very trusting. So it's asking you to really trust the steps that you are taking because wherever you are leaving, wow, well, you have three nines. So you could be seeing nine, nine, nine. Nine, nine, nines is all about completion. So the material, will you have enough? Will you... It's like all these questions, you know, you're going to be in your head about things and your heart, but your heart is not in where you are right now. And it's asking you to take a leap of faith. Don't worry. There's coins falling out of the pocket where you're going. You are supported is what the energies of this card is saying to you. So let's see what the sacred destiny is. Very positive. Very. Look at this. The card that comes out. We have the card here. I <laughs> see you can't make this up. But I only wanted to take... One, and let me put this, but you know, when the cards come out like that, I'm going to take it because it's everything I just said. Truth, happiness, and this could be too. If this is in regards to a relationship, this is in regards to a marriage. Some of you are possibly have been leaving somebody who's been seeing somebody else, and now you're going to come into alignment with the person that you're going to be with and feel very abundant and happy that you did so. So again, things are different for everyone, please. 
This is in coming into your own truth, your own happiness and abundance. This journey is bringing you so much. It's taking you to the next phase of your own life, of your own truth, of your own happiness. And don't worry, along this journey, there is a soulmate. There is a love. There is something that is so freeing. Dolphins are about breath. It's about being in the moment. It's being very playful, playful energy. So this is asking you on this new journey really to... Just be really honest with yourself as you are. You can really see that your universe is truly abundant and there's happiness here for you, great happiness. If this is in regards to, do you move towards with a relationship? It is asking you to take a leap of faith. If you're in a relationship or in a situation that is no longer fulfilling, no longer your ninth cup, and you have anxiety over it in regards to whether you're going to have enough, be enough, the answer is yes. <laughs> so it's going to, like I said, be different. Let's see. I'm going to just see which card wants to come out. And we'll just take this card. Are you kidding me? <laughs> we have, first of all, you're guided with the angels. Then we have the star card. This is faded. This is destiny. And the sun card says, says hard times are over. And you can see that with all those nines. Look forward to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm, and prosperity. Hello. And then it is, that's all about Aquarius age. That is Aquarius. We're in it. We just had a new moon. And then we have the sun. Open your heart to the enormous growth ahead. Absolutely. You're being guided and you're taking a chance on yourself on things that are new. Life is about experiences, Leo. Keep experiencing it for because there's so much that wants to come to you as you complete the old, as you complete the things that are not emotionally fulfilling. Come out of your head. Make a decision. Don't go into this place of, you know, that, that mind with the chatter, with the crows, that ah, that happens in the head. And yes, if you're seeking for your answer, I surely hope that you did receive it in this reading. If you're not a subscriber, tap the button, hit the bell. Until next time, sending you much love, much light. Namaste.